everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, I want to take this moment to say the longer we have been doing this show, the more people stop me and say, wow, I had no idea that there was that many components to real estate. You know, a lot of people think, well, the realtor, you have to talk to a realtor before you can buy a house, but there's so much more to it. There really is, and it's it's been such a blessing to do the show because we get to share that that people don't usually get to see. So hopefully everybody's a little bit more educated about what goes on in the real estate business. And I think in the Real Estate Minute at the end of the show, you're going to talk about why it's important no matter what end of the deal you're going to be on to have a realtor on your side. Absolutely and we always recommend whether it be Red Brown and Williams or someone else that you do work with a realtor. Okay now knowing that that's going to be at the end of the show we'll start now with our first listing. Now all mm -hmm. five of these today are going to be in Johnson County and these first couple are in Cross Creek. Correct and they're actually both on the same street so it'll be very easy to give directions for these two as well. I, I, I have to say no pun intended. Easy. It's on Easy Street. That was very creative. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> the uh, first one is 152 Easy Street. Like we said, it's in Cross Creek. If you're familiar with Cross Creek, that is out towards Paintsville Lake. Mm -hmm. And this is, there's two sections. You have a Cross Creek 1 and a Cross Creek 2. This is in the very back of Cross Creek 2 on the back street. And this is one of the more popular neighborhoods mm -hmm. in the Paintsville or just outside of Paintsville because you're, you're going out toward the lake. Quick access to 460 to US 23. Um, not to mention it's one of the nicer neighborhoods that, that people really want to live in. Yes, it is. This neighborhood is one that people often seek out when they're moving to the area. And this house is going to be no exception. This house is over 3,000 square feet and that is all above grade. You have an additional about 1,400 square feet mm -hmm. below grade that is finished. And looking at the pictures, you can tell that someone has really paid attention with how they decorate, how they paint, and, and the amenities that they have put into this home. Absolutely. And one of the favorite things that people notice about this house is it does have those big, huge ceilings in the living room. It's an open living room dining room concept so it makes the room feel very grand and open. And even though we, we have over 3,000 square feet so mm -hmm. it, it's a large house but then these tall ceilings make it seem even bigger. Exactly. And then you all of course have three bedrooms. It's a three and a half bath and like I said you do have that downstairs uh, basement area. It's a walkout basement mm -hmm. that is completely finished perfect for a rec room, workout room, and there's a bathroom down there. So very usable space. And then of course, I know one of your favorite parts is this is actually on a creek side lot. Yes. So you do back up to the creek. This house has a two-story screened-in porch that overlooks the creek. So talk about outdoor space to enjoy that morning coffee. And then from the pictures, it only looks like a two car garage, but this is actually, it's a two deep garage. So you actually have room for four cars plus storage in this garage space. Well, this one is going to be one I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to see. So this one is Teresa Preston's listing. Let's give um, a, a number so I can reach her. Okay, you can call Teresa in our Paintsville office. That number is 606-789-8119. All right, this one is listed for 412, 412,000. So if this is your, the market you're in, then give Teresa a call. Now, while we're in Cross Creek and while we're on Easy Street, let's talk about another house that you guys have listed. Okay, the address on this one is 104 Easy Street. This one is across, kind of across the street, not directly, but on the opposite side of the street of the mm -hmm. last one that we did. And this one, like we said, is in the back side, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit more of the private side of Cross Creek. But as far as the way it looks and the amenities, this is another house that has got all the extras. Exactly. This one is just over 4,000 square feet. It's a four bedroom, three bath, mm -hmm. built in 2006, so fairly new construction. And then taking a step outside to the outside space, you know, we've got the picture of the pool and with spring right here, it's not going to be long before summer follows. So we're going to start talking about those pools again. Exactly. It's got an in-ground heated pool, so you can even use it a little bit into the spring and fall. A large patio with finished with 
paving stones, and then a custom built gas fire pit. And the way these lots are laid out, the backyard is actually completely private. So this backyard with the pool and the patio and the fire pit is all going to be a very private area. And one thing we talk about a lot, and we did in this previous listing, was you know, talking about the morning coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, with these fire pits, we can talk about, you know, the late night gatherings outside and toasting the marshmallows and getting that, that outdoorsy and that camp feel in your backyard. Exactly, and this would be the perfect area to do so. Well, this one's going to be another one that I think a lot of people are going to want to see. Um, again, on Easy Street, so mm -hmm. we've got two listings on the same street. This one's listed for 429000 and again, it's also Teresa Preston's listing. So let's give her cell number on this one. Okay. Her cell phone number is 606-205-7890. Okay. Now, moving along, let's stay, like we said, all of these are going to be in Johnson County, but mm -hmm. this one is closer to the spillway of the lake, which that's an area that's popular as well. It is. So if you're going out across Creek, you're just staying towards Paintsville Lake on Route 40, you're going past the lake turn to the mm -hmm. spillway right there. And the address on this one's 2729 Route 40. Now this is actually Staffordsville, so a lot mm -hmm. of people will know. But as far as proximity to the lake and all your outdoor things, the campground in US 23, you get this one with, we get the same thing with this one as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And this one's a little bit older. It was built in 1970, but now if you're looking at the pictures, you can tell this house, one, it's been well maintained, two, it's been updated. So right. you still have a lot of those amenities. It's got a custom kitchen that they've put granite in. You can see that beautiful brick fireplace in the living a family room right mm -hmm. there. So you have a lot of really nice indoor space. And this one, I like the outdoor picture of the home because it shows that front yard. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people like to get out and do their landscaping and their gardening. And this looks like one that somebody could really come in and put their personal touch on. Exactly. And it has that very comfortable look, like you said. Yes. It's one that you're going to drive by and notice just because it looks like a good, comfortable house. Right. Like you said, this one is, is a large house too. We've got three bathrooms or three bedrooms, two bathrooms mm -hmm. in this one. So you can fit a large family even in this one. Exactly. And then the best part, which because we both like the outdoor space, uh -huh. is you can see that last picture, that screened in porch. Nice size screened in porch. You have a lot of outdoor space that you can sit out there again with your morning coffee and really enjoy it. And you and I actually visited a home not too long ago mm -hmm. and we were on a porch similar to this and we were thinking naps. Yeah. Afternoon <laughs> naps. We can't forget those <laughs> afternoon naps on the weekends. Absolutely. Okay, now this one, like we said, with all the updates and everything that you're getting, the price on this one is going to be even more attractive mm -hmm. at 185000 So this may be, a, you may not be in the market for the first two homes we talked about, but this one may be right down your alley. Um, so let's give an email address for, okay. instead of a phone call, let's, let's give an email address. Okay, this again, this one is Teresa Preston's listing. Her email is tpreston at rbnw.com. All right. Now, let's move outside of where we are to the other side of Paintsville. Mm -hmm. And if you're familiar with where Johnson Central Elementary is, this one is in that area. Correct. Right off Route 40. Again, we're staying right on Route 40, just on the other side of Paintsville. Mm -hmm. And this is, if you're familiar with where Grandview Outlet is, the old Kmart, yes. this actually sits right there on Andrea Circle. It's 1740 square feet. It's a story and a half. You can see from the pictures a fairly new construction. It was built in 1995, and it's a four-bedroom, three-bath. Right. So a lot of room on this one. Now, if you're looking at the pictures, uh, you can see it looks like we've got hardwood flooring. Mm -hmm. So this one has some extras as well. It does. It's got a newly updated kitchen. It has a great room with a fireplace, which you can actually see in the pictures. And then, like we said, with the uh, outdoor space and in-ground pool, it does have a separate pool house, which is very convenient for all that pool equipment, fenced yard, garden spots outside. So you really have indoor and outdoor space with this one. Right, and, and as winter is, is ending, we've still got a couple cold spells left, but these, these ones that are showing the outdoor spaces and especially mm -hmm. the in-ground pools are going to be so attractive because people right now are getting spring fever. They are. I've actually seen a few pools that are already opened, and they may be 
going just a little bit early, but these pools are going to be very popular, hopefully in a month or two. You know, and we had such a mild winter, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like we're having to recover from all the <laughs> snow and cold. People are like, okay, I'm, you know, let's go now. Yeah, exactly. So this one is listed for 219000 um, Again, this one's Teresa Preston's mm -hmm. listing. Um, so if you're looking for anything, you know, and we mentioned near Johnson Central Elementary School, that may be attractive to people with smaller children. Exactly. This is a no bus ride. This is walking to school distance. <laughs> well, that doesn't happen very much it anymore. It doesn't. <laughs> okay, so let's give some information um, to get a hold of Teresa on this one as well. Okay. For Teresa, we'll give her cell phone number at 606-205-7890. All right, the listing on, or the MLS number on this one is 107 721. Again, those numbers are helpful when you are going to ask about a specific listing. All right, let's end the show and let's kind of change gears and talk about a listing that's Cliff Bennett's. So uh, this one is near this last listing, again, out on Route 40. It is. This one, you're going to keep going on Route 40 on past the golf course, and you're going to actually take the left right there at Thelma. Mm -hmm. And this house is at Thelma on Apple Street. This is a brick ranch. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath. Uh, just under 2,000 square feet, but it does also have 400 square feet below grade. You know, and thinking about a ranch style home, that's all one level. And I'm sure you have people that are looking for a home and because of maybe health issues or mobility issues, that that may be exactly all they can look at. So these have to be pretty popular. They are, and it's one of those that everybody can be a ranch person. Mm -hmm. Other styles are a little bit more personality base, but everybody kind of likes a ranch. Right. So hopefully everybody's going to like this one as well. Hopefully. Um, but like you said, you know, talking about the house and the living space on the inside, but the, the garage is going to be attractive to people who have a lot of vehicles or they have the boat, they have the side-by-sides or things like that. I mean, we can also look at a shop or anything like that if somebody mm -hmm. likes to do woodworking. You've got a lot of space for that. You do. You've got a large detached garage. It's a three-car with some storage, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of extra space. So yeah, anything that you'd want to put in there, hopefully that would be the room for it. And then all of these are easily accessible to Paintsville today. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one is just a little bit farther out, but still not, you're within five minutes of downtown. So everything as far as accessibility that we have talked about on today's show falls into that category. It does. And again, we've kind of stuck with a, a theme of Route 40. But yeah, Route 40, and it makes it very easy to get pretty much anywhere in Paintsville if you're right there close to Route 40. And then, you know, talking about Route 40 and all of these these houses, I'm assuming you're going to have a Red Brenna Williams sign mm -hmm. in that front yard. So this time of year, you know, everybody's getting the spring fever and we talk about that. Get out and drive and, you know, look for that Red Brenner Williams sign in the front yard and give them a call. Absolutely. Go for drive-bys, get familiar with the properties that are available. And remember, even if it's not our sign in the yard, you can still give us a call and we can give you information and help you with it. Okay, now this house in particular is Cliff Bennett's mm -hmm. listing, so let's give some contact information for him. Okay, you can call Cliff in the Paintsville office, that number is 606-789-8119. Alright, this, this house is listed for under $200,199.5, so we have pretty much given you a wide range of pricing options today. Mm -hmm. All of these homes are in Johnson County, but again, you guys have homes listed all over Eastern Kentucky and all of those can be found on the, re on the website. They can, which is www.rbnw.com. All right. Now that we've got everybody's wheels spinning, I'm going to step out and let you tell them why it's important to have that realtor. Sounds good. Real estate is a unique business with many variables. National experts speak on markets from a wide perspective, paying attention to metropolitan areas and national trends. When you start planning to buy or sell, these national trends are important, but it is also very important to speak to experts like a local realtor. Markets can vary dramatically, even within small geographic areas. The staff of Ray Brown & Williams Real Estate Services highly recommend consulting your realtor for information on your particular market. We would be honored to assist you throughout the buying and the selling process. Thank you for tuning in this week. We hope you will join us again soon.